let's play a trading game. Okay, so you two can play this trading game. So here's the deal. It's very simple. I'm going to give you $100. I'm, I'm not, actually, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give you $100, and you can offer some of it to your partner in the game. But the rule is, if she says no, you don't get anything, and neither does she. And you only get to make one offer. So, okay, here's your $100. How much are you going to offer her? 40. Okay, would you take 40? Okay, that, now that's interesting. Wow. Okay, very good. That's perfect. Okay, so, first of all, the classic econo economist would say, you should offer her a dollar. Why? Well, because she might as well take a dollar, because she gets a dollar, yeah, and yeah. you want to maximize your own return. So you get $99. It's like... What happens when you do that? What happens is that is never what people do. They usually offer approximately 50%. Yeah. What's, and, and if they don't, then the other person refuses. Yeah. Now, then you might think, well, let's say you matched a rich person and a poor person, and you said, okay, give the rich person 100, and they offer the poor person a dollar. What does the poor person say? You think, well, yeah, yeah, I need the dollar. They, they say, no, go to hell. I'm not doing it. Because, and they're more likely, the poor person is more likely to refuse the lower offer than a rich person is. Completely, running completely contrary to the predictions of classical economists. Huh. You play that game across the world, it's pretty much 50-50. And I, that's so interesting, because it's another example of that emergent ethic. It's like, well, part of the reason you'd say no, and why no is correct, is because you don't play one trading game. You play a lifetime of trading games. And the right answer to the question of how to play a lifetime of trading games is to not settle for less than 50%. But you could also make a case that if you're the giver rather than receiver, if you're playing an iterated game, you might want to offer $60. Because especially if your reputation is being broadcast, because let's say your goal isn't to get $40, which is what you'd be left if you offered $60. Your goal is to let everybody know that if they play with you, you give them $60 and you get $40. And then what happens is like, well, let's take a vote on who wants to play with who. It's like, you want to play with the person who offers you 10? Or do you want to play with the person who offers you 60? And then the person who's a little more generous than reciprocal, you know, 50-50 would be reciprocal, maybe you should err on the side of generosity. Why? Well, easily, easy. People will line up to play with you. So then the question is, do you mm -hmm. want to win the game? Or do you want to win the set of games? Mm -hmm. Right. And I think... I think there's rules that govern the set of all possible games. And it's the rules that govern the set of all possible games that constitute something like an emergent ethic. So, anyway, so that's a very useful thing to know. It's a very useful thing to know. It is. So, well, can you give a couple quick ones of those potential universal ethics that govern the set of games? Well, I think, I think that's the big one. I think, I think the big one is you, you approximate reciprocity, but it would be better, it'd be better if you can figure out how to I think you, it's recipro reciprocity with erring on the side of generosity. Because there's just no downside to that in an iterated game. It's like, I'm going to bar What I do when I grade papers with students, for example, is I grade them and then I add 5%. It's like, well, maybe I made a mistake, so I'll err on the side of generosity. Right? And why not do that in your reciprocal interactions? That doesn't mean you're letting people take advantage of you. Right? It's not a matter of weakness in your negotiating strategy, because there's no excuse for that. That's, just, that's a losing game, that. But if you could take 50% or 70% and you decide to be generous, it's like, well, you still have to be awake so that you're not being messed about with by people who are a little bit on the psychopathic end. You know, you don't want to be foolish about it. But reciprocal plus generous, that's a hell of a good start. <laughs>